Welcome back to the Quick Start. Now, as I've been saying, there are two different kinds of dashboards. There's a personal dashboard, which we'll look at now, and then there is the group dashboard, which we'll look at next. Once we get to the video of the group dashboard, you'll start to see the differences appear. But for now, let's just focus on this dashboard, which is your personal dashboard. So everyone has a personal dashboard, regardless of what kind of access you've been granted or what role you play within a group on the CrestCat platform. So this right here is my personal dashboard. You can tell it's my personal dashboard because my name is selected here and it says your personal calendar right here. Your personal dashboard only shows the events which you will be involved in. Events that are a part of your group that you are not involved in will be stripped away regardless of your access level. The area below the calendar is one of those areas that change depending on which dashboard you're viewing. In the personal dashboard, it will show your pending requests and your next events for next month and beyond. Now, if you're already used to the group dashboard, you'll notice that some items aren't present, like the calendar filters, the download report button, and some items will be missing from the sidebar. The events in the calendar will also look a little bit different as they do here. Also, unlike the group dashboard, clicking an event takes you directly to that event, skipping the intermediate step that you would normally find on the group dashboard. In the next video, we'll see how things change in the group dashboard. If you're only going to have events assigned to you and you don't need the CrestCat platform for anything other than checking event details, you can probably skip the next video. Otherwise, I'll see you there.